Hello students, I just wanted to take a moment and show you what a live teacher session or a Google Meet would look like so you know some of the expectations and tricks and tips. So first off, here I'm at, I am in my course and I'm checking the updates tab for when a Google Meet is going to be happening, when a live session is. And so here I've posted one that's going to happen on a specific day as well as posted a few, a few links. Now your teacher may only give you one link. I have two options. One of them is to join the Meet and that allows you to come in to be part of the meeting. People will see your face and you can ask questions or you can just watch the live stream. One thing to note about the live stream, it's about 20 to 30 seconds behind what's happening in real time, uh, but you're still able to ask questions. So let's go ahead and jump in the meet and see what it looks like. The very first screen you're going to be presented with is the most important screen to be pre to be prepared to get started with the meeting. Notice that it's actually showing me what I look like. So a couple things to be aware of. Make sure you are doing appropriate things like don't be in the bathroom. <laughs> Don't be in your bedroom either. Make sure you're in an appropriate place. Oh, and be sure to dress appropriately. It's just good practice to take a look at this screen and your surroundings. That way you're not being inappropriate or causing undue distraction. A couple other things, little tricks on this screen to be aware of. Make sure you're signed into your Centennial Google account. You can switch the account here, and this also works on the app as well. And also mute your microphone by clicking this button right here. That way we're not causing distraction and all the background noise that's happening around us isn't distracting from the meeting as well. If you are having trouble with your microphone, you can change some of the settings using this triple dot button. You click on the settings and you can change your audio and your video option, including which microphone you're using, uh, which webcam you're using, and things like that. All right, let's go ahead and join this meeting to see what it looks like. So here's an example of what it would look like on an actual Google Meet. Notice in the upper left hand corner that this is being recorded and it is a live session. So conduct your manner appropriately, just as you would in a normal classroom. Now, many of your options are going to found, be found in the upper right hand corner. You may or may not have this first button, which is a Google Meet grid view. This is an extension you can download to see multiple people on the screen at the same time. Um, but if you do want to change the who you are seeing, you can click on the people option. This opens up all the meeting people and you can actually choose and click to pin a specific person. So here I'm pinning myself, or I can pin the person who's talking. I can also choose to pin the presentation. If the presenter or the teacher is presenting, you can make sure that that's always on top. There is a chat option where you can use this area to ask a question. But please use it appropriately and how your teacher wants you to use it because it could be a distraction for many. For me, I'm using Google uh, Slides question and answers. And so you would go to this URL found at the top of the screen and that would let you be able to ask a question whether you're joined live or you're watching the streaming session and you're not here with everybody else. The last thing is being able to turn on and off your microphone. If you do need a question, ask a question, you, you're probably muted, but the microphone is option is down here. You can turn that on and off to ask a question. You can turn on and off your video if you needed to step out for a second or not show something inappropriate. There's also an option to turn on captions. And so if you need to have something dictated to you, if you're a little hard of hearing, you can turn on the captions button and it would go ahead and do that for you. All right, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys join us in a live session. Let's do this.